All right, hello. We are back for part three of SimCity Pacific Shores. So when we left off before, we started to develop some houses that were multifamily and a sign of the education level solar panels on top of the houses population is starting to climb back up which is wonderful and of course the first thing I do when I start is just kind of check Left to right. No surprises. Very good. And like I said, no matter what, the advisor always seems to talk about low skill. I've not quite figured out what it is that he's looking for. What I care about is as many students as possible enrolled in school. 38 minute wait for the bus. So that's one thing I want to address. I like it to be as close to 30 or even below. One abandoned. So, approval rating is going up all across the board. 93%. profitable like I said I leave the tax rate like this I really don't uh, adjust it up or down I, I pretty much leave it the way it is and as you can see over time residential tax income starts to become the primary and then industrial and then commercial and we are selling crude oil and processors. Once again, lots of available jobs. And I'm okay with a large gap in available jobs. I don't want unemployment. That's what I don't want. got a good good economy going here as far as my specialization so here I've got plenty of plastic and alloy so as you can see one one trade Depot has more than enough to supply my two processor factories. And then we've got oil. And it's so important that vehicles can get right into the city. So, see that nice flow of vehicles into the city? That's one of the things, that's one of the lessons that I learned was uh, I had some early cities where the traffic would be backed up outside of the city into the region. And it, it just, it's, that's a sign that your, your city is, is struggling or going to struggle and potentially about to have some serious issues. 
They don't have to worry about driving into industrial, commercial, or residential areas. They can come right into the, the roundabout, in or out. in here excellent so now the one thing that I did say that I wanted to do is I want to address it's not an emergency and I don't think it will become an emergency but I do want to address this clean water and I just want to shift it a bit away from these and and the ground let's go to ground pollution as you can see ground pollution is not bad at all but let's just let's just shift and I wish it was daytime something else that I want to do Let's, let's do this. And I think... thing that I want to do is let's go ahead and start adding on and the other thing that I want to do is I do want I don't think I'm going to need this. I think for this city, I think I'm going to stick with the two processors. So I think this road actually, because I did so much of it underneath. Whoa, too close. Let's, there. And then while that's, let's take a look and see what needs to be. Wait a minute, did something else go? No. Thought for a second. There. Got some daylight. So what I do want is I do want an avenue... So actually, I think we can get more space yeah let's 
We've got some demo work to do. So let's pause. Let's not destroy the whole thing, because we can't anyway because of this. But what I do want to do is I do want to extend the city a bit. So this is going to be a little disruptive. little disruptive, but that's okay. And as always, let's do that there and this is really to maximize all this you know just you don't get that much territory in the first place and I do have water there so i'm going to i was thinking about waiting for this for people to get hired there maximize and I think I know what I want to do now once again I don't want four-way intersections We just added a lot of usable space here. And then we can curve this. Oops. It's not a curve. There it is. Curve. Then I do I want to give people an option because we're going to have a lot of people here. Uh, we can take care of that by do this For right now let's get rid of this want to see something I 
There we go. If I could get it right over. So some of these houses are not going to be able to grow much larger than what they are. So let's do this. So what should happen, remember, they want the shortest path. So Sims should, and let's also Oops. Right about here. It's just a little crooked. That's gonna that's gonna bug me. Oh well. Okay. And if they don't use it, we'll see. That's a little tall. I may shorten it, but let's just kind of get. So now, let's extend. And then let's make this a That a shopping area, shopping, shopping. It's okay, we'll make that shopping. Then I'll put a bus stop. Yep, bus stop. And okay. People moving in. Okay, got that, got that. So from a water standpoint, the city's gonna freak out just a bit. What time is it? It's eight in the morning, so people should oh. I think those road problems should go away eventually. Yes. Got it. Excellent. That was quick. So now that really gives us some space. Yeah. wrong. Let's see here. Storage full. We need workers. Take care of that.
And I may... I may force the traffic. That may take care of that. Experiment time. Okay, let's let's try this out. Because they are still taking that. You know what? Let's leave it alone for right now. If I develop issues with traffic. I'd rather have this than not have it, and eventually maybe people will start taking it. If they don't take it, then of course we can tear it down. I don't think I've seen a single car take it. There are people walking on it. Ah, there goes a, a vehicle. Maybe over time. We'll keep an eye on it. There goes a car. Okay. Even if I can at least just get some traffic to take it. Because they want the shortest path. We have all seen those projects that <laughs> we think is going to be beneficial, and those are medium. Did I do medium? I did do medium. That's okay. Actually, you know what? That street should be higher. And this is the part of the game where you just kind of go and you, you kind of fine-tune some things. So medium, high, medium, medium and in actuality there's I don't think there's anything it's too high hi I heard a bell and that reminded me of something I I need medium. hi medium hi High. Because that street is a really important street for traffic going that way. And, and we can get buildings, it looks like, underneath that. So, you know what? And I do see even just a, a handful of cars going over that to reduce congestion. Yeah. That might be where I put my suspension bridge. We'll take a look at it. Sometimes it, it doesn't look right in certain areas. Okay. Well, it's tall enough that things can go to medium density. I won't get skyscrapers right underneath it, but that's fine. Even if just a percentage of cars take that, that'll be fine. See here, we must have gotten some people working, working. All right. That may have been something I did.
Boy, that day went quick. All right. So now, what that means is my specialization is this is all the space it's going to take. So I have space for eventually more residential and commercial there. Not too close, but there. And remember, the wind is blowing that way. So people can live here and not have to worry about air pollution. And the ground pollution is not going to be, because first of all, this is a clean industry. Yes, it does make some pollution, but it's a clean industry. And that's a kind of dirty. And at some point, sometimes what I do is I just, I, I tear that down. I really needed that to get my city going. Got nice, nice amount of money in the bank. All right. Well, that was... 20 minutes of kind of redoing some stuff. I want more parks. What I really want is to unlock these large nature parks. We are really close population jumped up so let's look here so we started out there and I believe this was either the end of episode one or the beginning of episode two and we made some changes and we dropped and like I said it'll jump back up I believe this is when we went from almost a completely low wealth city to adding medium wealth we dropped and then we popped back up so whatever happened remember we had 2,000 available jobs so we filled about 800 jobs I do want education closer to my Where do I put it because the thing is I have to be careful about that that's a lot of extra traffic going there actually I don't think it's going to be close enough Actually, right off the roundabout. Right off the roundabout. So when you put a community college or a university close to your industry it starts to affect their tech level but like I said you have to be careful because that's extra people going there so that's why I didn't want to put it here because I don't want to interfere with that but that's that's not bad that's a good spot And education's important. So we now have four community colleges. But the thing is, if you remember, my grade schools were expensive. I'm only spending twenty-one forty, two thousand one hundred forty on education. So I am not spending a lot education I have four community colleges oh yeah they're using yep excellent 
Wait, let's... Oh, yeah. Excellent. They're using it. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So once again, they want the, the shortest, quickest path. So this, so the individuals here, yeah, look. So the individuals that are here are saying, how do I get either out of the city or to, a, to my industry the quickest, the shortest path? And the game says, the way the game works, it's saying, take this. And I have some traffic going to my school. Excellent. All right. I do think this would be my let's just look at it if I don't like it we'll tear it down but I do think this could be my suspension bridge Would it make more sense for it to be the bridge coming into the city? Uh, we'll worry about it later. Okay. Five. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. make some of these roads medium I did well we could have kind of a central suburban area surrounded by some That's what happens when you rush. <laughs> That's what happens when you rush things. And I don't know, for some reason, I, I, I've never liked literally filling the whole square. The whole square with tall skyscrapers I've seen other videos and I and I've done it in the beginning and it just it just looks I don't know I, I like it to have some variety eventually what I what I envision close to my city hall I kind of envision skyscrapers here multifamily there I was thinking this would slowly go more but then again this road could become very important because it does seem like a fair number of cars are taking it
That could become kind of like a mini. We could wealth that up. That could become, this could become kind of a road of, of my high wealth. That might be an idea. This could become a road of some higher wealth and then stagger the way this road curves. Keep curving out. Maybe that's what we'll do. How's everything going? Let's take a look here. So that's good. That's good. That's good. 10.30 in the morning, and they have almost collected all of the garbage. Good. Good. There will always be sick people as long as it's not out of control. Ah, oh, nice. Look at that. So, 36 students not enrolled 37 oh that's what I wanted to do sometimes when I do that when you kind of go along here it kind of reminds you of what you wanted to do I want more buses and I think Department of Transportation is going to be next because Department of Transportation is going to get me another bus station but a regional bus station and it's going to get me some parks that I like boy we were right there too so, transportation tourism safety CL so yeah, yeah transportation will be the most the next most important All right, let's get focused here. I feel like I spent some of the early part of this creating creating a problem and solving the problem. So far this inter this you know, I don't like intersections close to each other, but so far but definitely need to keep an eye on that. looks good and I do think they do people do seem to be taking that road we may put some high wealth parks or something there to oops there we go upgrade Nice. Department of Transportation. And as you see, Department of Safety have yet to really have any significant need to upgrade to a large hospital, a large fire station, or a police precinct. I have done multiple cities without Department of Safety. Um, sometimes the city does get a little out of control from a health standpoint. And the one thing that you do get with the Department of, with a bigger hospital, is you get wellness vans. These are vans that will go and help people not get sick department of transportation done so now as you can see oh tourism why was I thinking transportation oh well 
sorry about that. I don't know why I was thinking that transportation unlocked the bigger parks. I don't know what, what I was thinking about. Let's, in that case... Let's see here. Going on wealth up. This little spot right here. Now, high wealth, they want shopping to correspond with their wealth. So let's. spot right around here I might it's gonna be one of them It's going to encroach on my shopping. That's okay. Here. I cover that almost perfectly. So, wait, did that get? I want some of the commercial to be high up. And let's take a look again. I think that's commercial. Yes. So we've got some residential and some commercial that's going to be high wealth or potentially high wealth. Yep. It is going to have a little bleed over, which is perfectly fine. And then how many jobs do I have? I have 246 high wealth jobs. But keep in mind, these are going to become places to work as well. So.
Actually, the more I look at this, the more I'm, I'm okay with buildings here and then smaller homes there. Just give it a little bit of character. Let's see how many buses do I have here? Three buses. So now... So the shuttle bus, those buses only operate in the city. The bus terminal, as I build cities outside, those buses will travel outward. And the other thing that happens is it brings in tourists. All right, I just remember the other thing that I wanted to put down. Let's see, where do I want to put it? And that is, we need a place of worship. Now I've never, I've never tested it, but it says, don't bulldoze if you want to stay in good graces. I've never knocked down a place of worship to see what happens. Maybe I'll do a search on YouTube. Maybe somebody has done a YouTube video on what happens if you do that. Well, I was wanting to leave this space open. For the add on to the community college, but that would be a really good spot. But then again, a lot of people could get to church right here in the middle as well. Sometimes I think I overthink it. It's like, Leonard, just put, put the church down. But I think that's part of the fun is just the planning. Does it change the wealth level? It doesn't say, so I don't think it does. that would give this little area a little bit of character you know instead of putting the the house of worship amongst this and then that way I would not upgrade these homes just right in the middle a little bit of character Which one do I want? All right. Maybe next to it. Be nice to put a park. Right there. Then, yep. yeah, I like that. Okay. You 
office tower. Where's the office tower? What's being built? Well, uh oh. Health issues. Let's see, where are my hospitals located? I am a little bit heavy out there. Let's go ahead and build a road. That way I know where things are. are. Right. Okay. Oops. Straight line. All right. and let's continue this theme of how the road is kind of curving. And I think I'm going to do a couple more where they curve just to give it a little bit of a A little bit of a look here. Looks like that. And to maximize, let's see if we can fit. And you sure do. A lot of this is because of how small the city plots are. Now, what I did do is I just changed. I did change the wealth level of this area here. Add an ambulance. All right. So I added a clinic. I'm still. I'm still heavy with clinics here. Not here. We'll see. Maybe I'll go ahead and work on the roads more. We'll do that later. Because I want one, so I've got space four. I've got space for two more roads. I don't want to get so close because as I add on to this, so I can put one there, one there, there. So actually, yeah, because it's it's rare that I need, and I could also okay. All right, looking good. I feel like I'm rambling just a little bit. I think once the first two episodes, because we we were building the city from from ground up, and I think this ep 
episode. Yeah, they're definitely using it now. Got a little bit of a backup. Too many intersections. One of these could go over here. And which one? Because see that inner, see how that's. I know what I'm going to, let's pause, let's pause. So what's happening is this intersection is just, make sure I can do it. Let's hope that we can curve. Well, it can be done. It's just... Alright. You know, while I'm in bulldoze mode. There we go. And what I like, it just makes it, it gives it dimension. Doesn't look the same. That's a graphical thing. And that, that does bug me, and I, I just won't look at it. Because <laughs> it just... Um, 
So why is that still an intersection? But it should, okay. Alrighty. There we go. Better. All right. Not perfect, but better. And I said at the beginning that this was going to be I don't know why this is still I don't know why that's still an intersection though force me to do the whole thing over. There we go. There we go. Excellent. I really didn't want to have to, but I've I've had to do it before. Now we got rid of that nasty section there. Flowing better. And I am tempted thinking is this shift over just a little bit but it would solve this but it would just kind of shift that area over over here so it's it's okay so in, in reality what it is is my roundabout is too small
so really the roundabout could have been more like that so if it becomes an issue you know what we'll have to do but let's for right now I think we're we're okay okay so we've got okay 24 so population is going up we've got jobs for everyone how many fire trucks do I have Oh, I did that way. Let's do it this way. Fire service is slow. Two trucks. Two trucks. So do I add a fire station or just more trucks? It seems like the fires here So if that's the case, why don't we, and they're going to like having a fire truck, the people, the Sims are, you know what, right about, we're actually out here. Where they could jump right onto the. I overthought that. They could jump right onto the. Right onto the boulevard. Good thing I like to talk to myself because there have been a couple of parts here where I kind of forgot that I was commenting. I'd gotten a little wrapped up into what I was doing. 33 minutes, that's good. Let's see here, let's, let's just kind of take one. We got power. We got water. Sewage. Now, actually, sewage is I have a surplus, but I'm that's interesting. That's better. Okay. I don't like cutting my primary services too close. What it would what I would love is to be able to not just add modules but to set a budget. For example, so power. I need 58 megawatts. I'm producing 150 megawatts. I wish there was a way to kind of throttle that. Okay, garbage. Fire. Fire service is slow, but however, we've not lost a house or a building to fire in a while. Waiting room almost full. You have some sick people. That clinic was needed. Boy, that clinic was needed. Right there. 
Okay, and they are... They're having to climb up that, so let's do this. Let's not make them walk. You know what? I was talking about how I really wish I had shifted this processor factory down here. So let's do that. Let's give them... and this and that and that okay okay let's get back to where we were we were here okay good all students enrolled. Nice. 34 minutes. Three. That's still not bad. I think these are the ones we lost to fire. But it said we didn't lose any. Okay. Not enough places to ship freight, so... Approval rating, 84%. Approval rating went down just a bit. Got that, and... Jobs. Population's growing. As the sun comes up, I think this is going to be... I told myself I was not going to do a two-hour... Alright, so we changed some things. We created this road, we shifted our water... We added an overpass. We did this one as well so that we could shift this. We got rid of that horrible intersection. And remember when we did that at first, cars were backed up. Now they're not backed up, at least there. because what was happening was my fire was getting stuck there but now fire now has a couple of options But yeah, this is too small. But I'm not crippled. I mean, I have traffic there. And the thing is, is cities have traffic. It's when the traffic is out of control. But the thing is, is they're not backed up horribly here. They're not backed up horribly there they're backed up a bit there but not horrible so there's no bright red I have light green and green but nothing indicating horrible horrible traffic and it's 830 in the morning this is morning rush hour traffic so Okay. 
And this is the fun part is I spent all of my time doing stuff out here. Oh, we added a house of worship. I don't think we did anything here, but really this is kind of on... It's on autopilot. We did shorten this road, which extended out here, and I gave them a hospital, a clinic, and there's nobody in the clinic. Probably because everybody was on their way to another clinic they're walking across. That's a long walk. But I think that is... I think that's going to do it. And we created a higher wealth So I now have, I have all three now. I have low wealth, medium wealth, high wealth. I have low wealth commercial, medium wealth commercial, high wealth commercial. We added on a department of transportation So that a skyscraper, pretty tall. We upgraded this road here. And I do like a little bit of traffic, as long as it doesn't cripple my city. It just makes the city feel like it's alive. Are there any bus stops there? I'm afraid if I put bus stops on that road, though. I have one bus stop. We're not gonna. But you see how if I had four-way intersections that we'd be in in trouble. They don't understand how to deal with four-way intersections. But if you do a T, it's better. And they're they're definitely using this now. When I first built it, they weren't but they're using it now, so I keep clicking on buildings. And eventually there should be solar panels. No solar panels, not yet. Well, this was more of a, I consider this more of a fine-tuning, updating some things. Episodes 1 and 2 was, was, was growing. This was fine-tuning. What I do want to do is I want to continue to get some more residential and some more commercial, some more roads here. I really want to watch this area become more of a downtown area with, with skyscrapers. Let's see if I can, let's see here. I need to get to, yeah, it may not happen in this city because this city is going to, because I'm using so much space for this. I don't know if this city is going to get to 75,000 residents, but we'll see once we get some skyscrapers going. But what will I don't know. I've never been about outrageous population figures. I'm more about the look and feel of the city. Are they happy? But I like the fact that everybody is enrolled in school. I think I will add another community college at some point. 
but overall, we grew. We almost doubled our population in this episode. So yeah, we were tinkering and updating some things, but we we doubled, close to doubling our, our population. And I believe we did double the money that we've got in the bank. And I believe when we started the episode, we were seven or 8,000 an hour. So we kind of kept that as we bring in more people, our, our revenue. And our revenue is going to go up more as we add people here. And as our medium goes to high. But I think that is... I think this will be the first time that we wrap up without a without sunset I think we've wrapped up the last two times at the end of the day or nighttime I believe but I think this is going to be a good stopping point so at some point I'm going to think about a potential suspension bridge and I don't know if I want that bridge there might really look good there. We'll figure that out. Want to upgrade downtown and just keep building. But everything here is gray. Nobody's screaming. This is always, they're always going to talk about wanting workers, but that's by design. I want to have available jobs. A homeless problem, unemployment is just, it's really difficult to deal with. Okay, that kind of stabilized. All right, well, it's noon, so no sunset. ready to upgrade density yeah so the area that's ready for upgrading I don't want to upgrade I want this to remain more of a of a suburban these are all brand new which is why they are that color And those just recently switched, but you can see they're slowly going from yellow to green. So next episode, we might be able to start getting some skyscrapers. All right, well, oops, I clicked on a building. As always, I thank you very, very much. I appreciate spending time with me but this is how I like to unwind I just decided to for these three episodes to actually record it and to share it with you but overall I'm happy yeah let's see my road yeah rush hour the roads better so Yes, could this have been a bigger roundabout? Yes, but rush hour is over. So I need to remember to take a look at it again for next rush hour. But once I get past that rush hour of the morning and the end of the shift, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. Okay, yep. Better. I'm happy. And especially not having anything lined up trying to get into the city. That's what's crushing. Alright, well. Time to save. And 
as always, I appreciate you spending time with me. And we will see you for the next episode. And we are slowly getting to the point where it might be time to start migrating out here. Maybe something over there with a lot of water. That's that's a flat area. We've we built on a flat area. So maybe something out there. Kind of bounce between two cities. So Alright, well I appreciate you as always. Take care and we'll see you soon. <laughs>